Okay, we're out here at the range today. We're going to go for our second test to try to achieve Mach 3 on this muzzle loader. Our first shot last week, we did get Mach 3. The other shots were just a little bit below, so I've upped the powder charge a little bit. We have a 1 in 20 twist Brooks barrel. The shank diameter is an inch and a quarter, so we can use a little bit more pressure, but yet we're going to stay below the pressure max for the 458 wind mag. I have a computer program called Quick Load, which has allowed me to do some calculations. Today we're going to be using 165 grains of Reloader 17. That's a slow magnum powder, and hopefully that's going to help us achieve our goal today. I have checked this rifle to make sure it was unloaded before we got started. And I have pre-measured our powder. So we're going to start by putting 165 grains of Reloader 17 in here. We'll bump the rifle a little bit, make sure it goes down. And then we're going to re then we're going to load a 300 grain Parker BE bullet that's been squeezed down a little bit so it will fit in the barrel of this gun. It should be snug, but we should not have to hammer it down. Okay, it's a little snug, but make sure it went all the way down. And I have here a primer module I bought from Luke at Arrowhead Rifles, and it contains a large rifle magnum primer. That's going to be our ignition source. Make sure it's all safe. Okay. Now I have set up two monitors. Here's one on the target at 300 yards, and here's one on the chronograph. So I hope you can see both of those. So let's see what we can do at 300 yards. I'm not sure where it's going to hit on the target because I've never shot this load before. I've got a level here on my scope, so I'm trying to take the cant out of the rifle. I'm going to hold dead center. We'll see what happens. Hit the upper left corner, as you can see, I was holding right here. And we got 3380, so we achieved Mach 3. Let's see what the next two will do. Got a loader tube that goes in to help me get the powder down through the brake. I always check my tubes, make sure I got the right thing. 165 grains, reloader 17. There's the bottom. 300 grain Parker BE. Snug. Just right. People are always arguing about is it too tight or too loose. 
Uh, I like mine to be just a little on the snug side. Okay, I'm going to put it on safe. Take out my used primer module. Put in a fresh primer module. Alright, let's see what we get on our second shot. Almost missed off the left side. I'm going to hold the same place. We'll just see what happens. I may cheat over a little bit since that one was there, but I'm going to still hold somewhere in this area. 3380. Let's see what shot number two does. I'm going to hold about three inches to the right, a dead center. Let's see what happens this time. Same area. A little bit to the left. 3381. Got it again. This muzzle blast is tremendous. Blowing all my stuff off the bench here. Okay. Let's see. I believe we got stuff for one more shot. Sixty-five grains, reloader seventeen. Seems like we're about five percent below the maximum pressure for a four fifty-eight wind mag. Sure it goes down. Load in our three hundred grain Parker bullet. Tire. Got a little foul in there now. Don't forget to take the loader tube out. Okay, we're going to put in our primer module, large rifle magnet primer. Third shot. 300 yards. I'm gonna hold about where last time I held right about here. Let's see what we get this time. Second shot was a little bit above Mach 3. Here we go. Holding about three inches right of dead center. Thirty-three forty-nine. Okay, we didn't quite make Mach three on that one. We were close. So. Missed it by about uh, oh twenty-five feet or second or so. Okay, so that's our test today. Our second test trying to achieve Mach three. Two out of three shots. We had Mach three, and we still had a pretty good group down there. The last one went a little bit low because it's a little bit lower velocity. But we still have what we're going to call a deer MOA. We could easily have killed a deer at 300 yards this load. 
because this target is 18 inches wide and two feet tall. So we can see uh, our group is most certainly less than six inches down there. I'll check it a little bit when we get through here. So that's the conclusion of our second Mach 3 test today. Stay tuned. We'll see what we can do the next time. Okay, we're down here at the target, 300 yards from where we started. This is our second Mach 3 test. The first shot hit right here, right on the edge of the target. So I held right on the other two shots, and they went a little bit right. Even holding to the right about three inches, our group is still about, I'm going to call it right at three inches. This one was a little bit low because our velocity was only like 33, 45 or something like that. It was a little bit less than Mach 3. First shot was Mach 3. Second shot was Mach 3. But we still have a good group. We still have a group that's about uh, 1 MOA even though I held over on these last two. So that's the results of our second Mach 3 muzzleloader test. Shooting a 300 grain Parker BE right at Mach 3. Two out of three times anyway.